heard a bit about this place before. But the ADDC, isn't it just one part of a larger organization? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. They own every last inch of this campus. <sighs> it's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. So? Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Huh? Don't go too far ahead! Yagami-san! What are you all shaken up for? Calm down. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? Yagami-san! Try not to just ditch me, okay? Is something wrong? It's just... After three years, it still looks the same. Huh? Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. Come on. Front desk's over there. Do you have an appointment, sir? I don't, sorry. My name is Hoshino, from the Genda Law Office. This is my partner, Yagami. We're here to talk about a murder that took place in Kamurocho yesterday. A, a murder? A co-worker of ours named Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Huh? We're hoping you can help us track down exactly who he spoke to. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. Well, could I at least talk to Director Kido instead? He's an old friend of mine. Just let him know Yagami stopped by, to say hello. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Look over there. Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, Director. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up? Uh, no. Not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was. Exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The Minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how much trouble one contractor has caused. Sorry, which minister? I didn't know about this, sir. The health minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. Director, if I may, if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, 
I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, she can show you. Terra Sawakun. These gentlemen here are Shintani Sensei and, uh, Yagami. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. Well, with that, I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. This way. I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you are... Terasawa-san, huh? Wow, you're young. And a looker to boot. Um, can we keep this professional? Huh? Nice try, Shintani-sensei. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? We're not exactly welcome guests here. After I busted my ass to pass the bar, I always figured I'd have my pick of the ladies. Right this way, please. Straight ahead is the ADDC's general ward. Wakusan's room is on the fourth floor. This was the room assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. <laughs> gold, huh? I suppose because it's the heart of the Center's operations. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. Before he died, Wakusan spent most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Two years ago. With Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia, yes. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kinda? Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. Uh-huh. Hmm. Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody, no. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident, yes? That's right. So, he was murdered here, then carried out. 
I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's? Nobody. And Wakusan. That's right. So he. I can't say for. sealed shut. There's no way Wakusan could have escaped through here. Hmm? What the? All the rooms have windows like this, right? It seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving between appointments. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I think so. Hmm, you can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani-sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Here to join me, Terasawa-san? What do you got to lose? It was a joke! So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Well, of course that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. All right, here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku, male, age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, 
they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess burying Waku's body out in the mountains. And lo and behold, three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami-sensei? Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. Oh, sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course not. But that's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did. But legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Fine. But what about Okubo's shaky alibi? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. <laughs> We're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. Tell him the case is unwinnable. Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okubo-kun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. We'll need to take an elevator down there. Follow me. Follow me. Hey, Yagami, you're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction, your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. like a regular old garage to me. Hmm. You'd make it out with no problem if you put a body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. Hey, Yagami. Check this out. These are the carts they used to collect sheets and linens. Day of the crime, Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. It would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. Where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? Oh, um...
The truck was parked here, with the back facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okobo, he flat out admitted it. There was evidence that the body was in Okobo's truck. When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this once? This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, you get charged with witness intimidation. All right, all right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather in the break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here, let's go over some more details. What we know is, Waku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen, and 8.30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, Somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Even if I'm not, the loss will hurt Genda-sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. I can't back down from this. Ah, fine. I'll be in the lobby. Um, if you like, I could take you to see Wakasan's room again. You don't mind? Oh, that would be great. Wakasan was here until the morning of the incident. Then he just up and disappeared. I wonder how well you can see in here from the hallway. Um, are you finished? Yeah, I've seen what I need. Anything else you can share? How long will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? I if he's found guilty, that is. Probably ten years, maybe more. It's hard to say for sure. And what if he confesses? 
Would they shorten his sentence? Well, at the very least, it'd make a better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea? Even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa-san, were you close to Okubo-kun? I spoke to him pretty often, yes. I would see him around the ward all the time. And what did you think of him? Did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. Wait! If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo-kun free. But I can't do it alone. Just... give it some thought, Terasawa-san. Just now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. On the day of the crime, you were in the general war at the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. And I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. I had a criminal assault on my record. I knew the police would have suspected me if I went to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Bad blood? What are you talking about? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo-kun here punched him and stole his wallet. They told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. <laughs> even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Well, Okubo-kun, did you take his wallet, or...? Not quite. They call it delusion of theft. It's a symptom of dementia. You think something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't kill a man over something like that. Ah. I wish I could believe you, pal. Come on, Okabo-kun. You've got a record of violence. It wasn't me. I swear. Somebody set me up. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. <sighs> Calm down. Yagami-sensei, do you believe me? 
I do. Okay. The next time, come alone. Fine. I can take a hint. You and Yagami Sensei can cuddle up all you want. Hey. You know that nurse, Terasawa-san? Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. I don't know. If you'll excuse me. So Shintani just left you hanging, huh? He's got to learn some damn patience. Maybe so. But this is my case now. I can handle it myself. Huh. Okay. Yagami-san. Hmm? Have you seen Mafia lately? Well, where's this coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be more assertive. Right. Okay. Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sarikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. Hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> I'll keep my lips sealed. Mafia Kuhn's a prosecutor, right? Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not do this? Either way, guess the Okobo case comes first. We're pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. What is your plan here? This isn't gonna be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. Yeah? And what's that? Take a look at this. It's the hospital room the victim was staying in. This is the last place Wakusan was seen before he disappeared. At the time, the witness would have seen Wakusan from this angle through the window in the door. But the cabinet here would have been blocking his face. Uh-huh. In other words, there's room to argue that the witness never actually saw Wakusan to begin with. It might have just looked like there was somebody in there. Or maybe the killer set it up to look that way. And how would that impact the trial? Well, the premise that the victim was still alive at 8 o'clock would no longer be on the table. Meaning, the crime could have occurred during a much wider time range. With that in mind, we could claim there's no proof that Okubo took Wakusan out of the room. Right. Not bad. What the hell's your problem? Was that Shintani? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> that bastard. Oh, was eavesdropping on you. 
What the hell? Ugh. I tried to stop him, but... Ugh. He pulled a stun gun on me. Ugh. Hey! Wait up! Woman. Help! Someone help me! Aren't you Terasawa san? Let me go! We got a groper out here? Scum of the earth! <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch! Can all lawyers fight like that? <laughs> 